bring the gun, and back to the game! I'll go check a few other things quick. Number one, why the hell not? Let's go see if there's uh, more news. Nope. Which one to choose? Well, when it is cute, let's can make up my mind. We're all the way to capital. I might as well enjoy my time here, you know? here by now. No, hold on. There was a girl about her age named Chloe who came around asking for us, wasn't there? Probably to meet up here. Chloe, you say? No, I'm afraid no one by that name has been here. Aw, oh, that's very easy. We should have asked where she was staying. I mentioned some rich relatives. Though, there's not much of a lead, I suppose. I'm sure she's going to be running late. I will try to contact you shortly. Because bye, I'll be sure to let you know immediately. Recipe is. Oh, so I need to go back and fr uh, kill the, the dials eventually. So, like, there really is nothing else for me to do. Mm -hmm. Grunzel Castle. Oh, let's show the gatekeeper our invitations then. I don't know how. Why? I'm so nervous. I like because we don't get invitations to big events like this very often. Castle of Her Majesty the Queen, which have official business here in Italy. Hey! Hi there! Sorry about the other day. Oh, it's you two. You're saying it's still in town? Yep, it's just a business to take care of. Formal invitation, so by your leave, may we pass? Formal invitation? See directly from Miss Grace. Wow! It's a giant! See right here, written invitation. And over the invitation. Let's see. Zen and team appreciation for your forces in the competition. You are currently invited to a dinner party. Oh, you guys are in the martial arts competition. It, right, I heard the winning team was led by a huge eastern guy. So is that you? <laughs> you got it. Really appreciate your help. Makes sense. Headmate told us you'd be coming. I think so much happened to him. I kind of, it's kind of impolite, I know. But he doesn't look like he's going to be able to make it. We're the only ones coming. Uh, well, that's a pity. No matter, please go on in. Entering the company, victory to the martial arts competition. Open the gate. Gate, but there's something more imp impressive about it being part of a castle. 
I bet it's more solid too, since it's the royal castle. Powerwise impregnable. Ever since the nation was established, no enemy has ever broken through the Oddenburg Wall. Have been ravaged by war numerous times with all the uh, uh, mutinies and insurrections amongst the nobles. Even then, the castle held the rebel army at bay and protected the royal family and the refugees. Or so, or so the story say. Ah, that's pretty neat. Much so to tell, what do you expect from a nation of such history? Look at Her Majesty's Grand Cell Castle. Go right on in, and be met by a welcoming party inside. Enjoy your evening. Place is goddamn huge! Whoa! See that again? There's anything that compares to this place. Arch is pretty, it's got history. But you feel the traditions and rules of the old kingdom here. Welcome to Grandson Castle. You're a Zinna's team, correct? Yeah, I'm all the up. I really expected, even so. That's right. They come with an invitation of the good duke, and uh, you are? Ah, uh, pardon me. I'm Captain Kanon Amalthea of the Intelligence Division, head of Grandson Castle's defense. I'd like to extend my heartfelt congratulations for your championship victory. Watching the match was truly spectacular experience. You're kind, really. May I say, I didn't know they made women as pretty as you and the captains. Let's do fine work. Aye, but you are the flatterer. I'm not so young as your bracer friends. Still, Joshua Bright, it's been some time since the incident in Zeiss, hasn't it? Yeah, I guess it has. Quite some time. Especially matter considering Professor Russell has yet to be resolved. Because he and his granddaughter were abducted by a group of nefarious individuals. You don't have to know anything about that, would you? Uh, I'm afraid not. Left the case up to the full French glaciers and came to Grand Cell. Never even heard the report. The report, follow up report on it. I see. Uh, that's truly a shame. Well, with research intelligence and intelligence division, it's only a matter of time for the culprits are arrested. Had no fear on that score. That was over. Understood. Trust you to take care of the professor. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to show you to your rooms. Chia, if you're pleased with the honors. Yes, ma'am. See their needs, but do not bore them with any idle chatter. Make yourself clear. Yes, ma'am, I understand. Haha, <laughs> very good. Now, everyone, I hope you enjoy your evening. For my part, I must bid you farewell. Oh, yeah, like, she was threading the maid to just, like, don't say anything. <laughs> now, that is one fine woman. Says then, you're facing women is crap. Nothing fine about that fox faced harpy. I think that might be just his favorite type of woman. Haha! <laughs> it's then to find that women like that turn out to be pretty good people once you peel back a few layers. So to speak, you're hopeless. That matters. You really do sound like a dirty old man sometimes. Oh, my honor! Um, oh, sorry about that. Let's show us your room, right? Yes, please allow me. I don't mind not saying for. I have Shea, a maid here at the castle. I'll be at your service this evening for the dinner party until the morning. Anything at your satisfaction, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you very much. Please show us to our room then. Certainly, from the second floor. Talk about classy! Hush yourself. What's that way? That's the throne room. I don't see to see personal guests. I haven't seen much use in recent days, though. I see. Is the Queen's condition really that bad? Isn't the birthday celebration coming up soon? Uh, oh no. Isn't the head maid who tends to keep her. This is the head maid who tends to keep her in the royal keep of late. I should speak on subjects about which I'm unfamiliar. Come then, shall we? Oh, I can just see she's nervous and just like. Like, like, don't say too many things. Don't say anything. This is the room where you'll be staying. Please go on in. Okay, pardon us. Holy Stregas! Imagine we stay in a place like this. Nice! This will make a good story for later. Still some time for the party. You are free to explore the castle, but security areas are off limits. As you refrain from entering those areas, um, can you be a little more specific? So if you leave the royal keep where the queen resides, all palace and swords built on the garden terrace on the roof. Garden terrace? That sounds nice! Haha! <laughs> terrace where her majesty greets the people who grand sell from, from during the birthday festivities. So you can go into the royal keep you cannot go into the royal keep itself, but if you visit the garden terrace if you like. As you other certain areas, there's the royal guard room and also the treasury, I believe. Royal guard room. I guess they still wanted they still they're still wanted for questioning about all the terrorist stuff. Yes. 
from the visitors currently occupying it. Entrance restricted. Please abide by the rules. Understood? Wait, what are the others who are invited doing? They've already arrived. The convention they're relaxing in the respective rooms. Alright. There are classes here, too. Oh, yes. He arrived some time ago. Excuse me. I'll be off. Hey, anything, please contact the first floor waiting room. Now then. Seems to look that went, unno went unnoticed by Zen. Hey, Zen, I'm gonna go ahead and walk around for the castle for a little bit. We'll be back in time for the party. <laughs> That's nice to be so young. I'm worn out after the tournament. No problem. Have fun. Me, I'm gonna kick back and relax in this oh-so-luxurious room. Get to get as much done as we can before the party starts. First, should we close your to talk to the headmate Hilda? Say hello to the other invitees, too. I think you know most of them. Taking important documents without official permission. Ooh. Ah, oh, Joshua, still, you made it. It's been quite a while. Dean Collins? You invited Bangor as well, sir. I just arrived today via airship from Ruan. Little Mayor Old Birdie told me you went to win the tournament. Jill and everyone will be so else will be so happy to hear it. <laughs> Thank you. No idea we'll be seeing you here, Dean Collins. He calls a member of the Royal Assembly and a man of great respect in the barrel. It's only fitting he's given a seat at his banquet. A man of great respect, he says. You flatter me, Mayor. What's the Royal Assembly? It's a meeting to once, held once per year to address matters affecting the kingdom. Queen, mayors of every city, and other representatives all come together to try solving various problems of state. Wow, sounds big. All those guys have been invited here tonight, too? No, I'd say only about half. Her Majesty is still ill, and General Morgan is away on other official military business. Mayor Delmore Ruin is arrested in that nasty affair. Professor Russell... He's a bit too entrenched in too many unknowns right now. We don't know how, tr how true all this talk, talk of the Royal Guards been being involved in some underground terrorist organization. Not the time to be holding a feast at all, if you ask me. Well, I can use this chance to see where Duke Denon stands on all of these issues. His permission to have an audience for Her Majesty regardless. Yes, that's the biggest issue here, without a doubt. Barring us saying Her Majesty is the height of idiocy and mismanagement. I'd like to pay respects to Princess Claudia as well. That's the same story. Claudia, the Queen's granddaughter, right? Does she live here in the castle? No, it's understanding your actual residence is elsewhere. I thought she he's come to the capital as of a few days ago. Jesus, here then. I think you'd like to meet her. Sure, I'm sure you'll have a chance. He says with like a knowing smile. Mayor Mabel and Lila, Joshua, Estelle. Ah, uh, here at last. I kept wondering when you get here. I was practically counting the sentence. A second. You're invited here too, Mayor. Hey, hey, wait. You were waiting for us? How did you know we coming? I heard from Mayor Klaus. I heard about a pair of children in the tournament, won a championship, and invited to a grand royal banquet in the castle. But now, who would have kept my appointment to come to cheer you on? Thank your pardon, ma'am. I would have been quite impossible given the circumstances. Yes, yes, I'm aware. I'm trying to be polite. <laughs> Don't worry. I know how busy you must be. The Queen has no time to waste at a banquet. What is everything else going on? What is Duke not thinking? Captain was so stubborn about inviting me too. I had no real choice but to accept. And Captain Mamma Theo? Yep, that's her. Words are polite enough, but this she gave me an evil eye while she spoke to them. I dared not refuse her request. I heard from General Morgan quite some time. Wait, does that mean? I haven't heard any word from the Hawken Gate? General's unavailable as long as messages I've been able to ring from them. Seems as busy as these anti terrorist countermeasures or what have you. Oh, I had hoped he'd be in attendance at this banquet tonight. I guess he couldn't pull himself away. Hmm. I think about all this, Mayor. Putting mayors from every city in the same place at a time like this. Well, the Queen will be in attendance. I suspect an announcement is no small importance. I just, this feels like the Duke has too much time in his greasy, chubby hands. I think this edition of Royal Proxy go to his head. Sounds about right. There might still be some kind of official announcement, don't you think? Well, whatever it may come of the night, Grand Chef here is the best in all the kingdom. I plan to enjoy the dinner, pay, pay my respects for Her Majesty, and return to Bo's post haste. A lot of important people here. And we're likely gonna be having Richards like like officiate his coups, just like I'll now take control of this kingdom. So, Joshua! Mr. Murdoch! I thought you might be here. Mayor class individuals on the guest list, I had a feeling you might also be in attendance. I say I never expected you two. Oh. But to win a tournament championship and end up hot dubbing in Grand Cell Castle. Guess it's kids to the bone you are! <laughs> it, took, it took more than our upbringing to get here. Lots of people helped along the way. 
In a few days, has there been any developments? Well, right after you left for the capital, Captain Althea from the Intelligence Division came knocking. He forced me to come to this banquet. I kept my mouth shut about Lyson Fortress. Mr. Russell and company are still on the run, too. Army hasn't found him yet. I'm gonna keep this up, the less chance they have. It's really only a matter of time. That's Captain Althea. If I could see her majesty, wish her well. But no luck, I'm proud I refuse. We definitely we aren't going to be able to do this the easy way. We sure aren't. We sure aren't. Don't you worry, because we totally got that covered. We'll get the professor's message to your majesty, one way or another. Like we need to find the head maid. Like we give her Julia's letter, and then the head maid will get us. Oh, that is just like flowers or something. If you have anything you can think of, be it alcoholic or non-alcoholic. I can't buy anything here. I was hoping this would be the place with the last food item. Stop and enjoy it. Got a job to do. Majesty lives? Of course it is. Today she hasn't been feeling so well. She's not seeing anyone right now. Uh, oh, Galarog, you weren't even thinking of that. It's not be amazing if she were to even take notice of us. Princess Claudia sleep here as well? No, it's just... Hey, let's just focus on looking after her majesty. None of them has any time to deal with the likes of you. Of course, what's going on here? Madam, I didn't know you were back already. Dinner party will be starting soon. So I'll be turning to the maid quarters. Yes! For our guests. From the team that won the martial arts competition, it's only because of that victory that someone has embraced your social standing would he ever be invited here. Embraced your social standing? That's just courtesy! You'd insult those who were personally invited to the royal castle? No, that's not what. Those invited by the Duke should be treated of all respect due to those invited by Her Majesty. I really hope you have not forgotten that. Uh, understood. Oh, she's intense. I know she is. Madam, catch this allowed in the past. I'm sure you understand the reasons the Colonel laid out. Yes, I'm quite tired of hearing them repeated to me. Tiny Starlight's here, Madam. She has been hiding, and such a will keep it as surroundings are off limits. May, would you mind waiting in your room until the dinner party begins? Uh, all right. It's fine. We'll do as you ask. Apologies. We're trying to cause any trouble. Fine. Fine then. Just don't let it happen again. Uh, safe return to you. Apologize that you were subjected to such dreadful behavior. Name is Hilda. I'm the headmaid of Grantsville Castle. Oversee all the housekeeping duties. Aha! Had a feeling. Hmm? Here you just very fiercely acquainted. Well, uh, someone told us about you. Julia's letter to Hilda. I knew this handwriting. You see? Let's have our bracelet emblems and identification with us. I see. Please come with me to the maid's sitting room. Cuts the matter further once we are there. <laughs> Here we go. I understand. You deliver Professor Russell's message, Your Majesty. Correct? Wait. Now it's not a good time to try later, but... No, it's not an issue. The special ops men have had the royal keep under constant surveillance for some time now. Only well, Duke, the Colonel, and hired attendants such as myself are allowed in. The private audience is probably a no-go. I think it's dope. We ask Hilda to relay the precious message to her majesty? Mm, no, I'd really rather speak to her face to face. Too many particulars we don't know. We really need to discuss directly. Like, you, like what Duke Junon and Colonel Richard are after. Tell him Joshua. If I have an idea, could I get your turn here once the dinner party is over? Why? Is that a way for us to see her majesty? I believe I have. Let's go. But I think it's worth a try. Are we gonna have to dress as maids? Could it need some time to get ready? Do you come back after the dinner party? Awesome! Understood? We'll be back then. I'll be waiting. Food is done, so I think we'll be serving shortly. 
For now, probably best you wait in your room. I just would not be surprised if she wants us to sneak in his maids. I'm over here. I can remember where my room was. Hey guys, talk about being late. Party's about to start, you know? Sorry. Guys are club and sightseeing. We lost track of time. Let's, we also talked to all the mayors. Oh, huh? well, aren't, aren't we well connected? Close friends with Mayor Roland. Plus we met the other mayors in the course of our travels. Ah, I see. Guess your work is bracers has caused you to meet quite a few big shots. So you sure get around for junior bracers. <laughs> Yeah, you might say that. Have you done any bracer assignments since we came to, uh, uh Gronsell? Makes no like different from other countries, right? Okay, so full French blazer, nationality is an issue when it comes to your work. Prism fights and legal procedures are at the embassy. Can't be too busy to get the actual work done, though. And hey, there are four other braces on duty, too, which isn't so bad. Normally, that would be enough to handle most cases, I'd imagine. With all of them concentrating in Gronsell, let's make it tough to handle any cases in other regions. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, it could be. Ugh, I feel like a goose just walked over my grave. What's going on with Shara back in Roland? Now that name rings a bell. We'd have to be talking about Shara's art, would you? You know her? It's her mentor. She's been a close friend for ages. Oh, okay. Makes sense. I met her a long time ago. My case brought her to Calvard. It's unfortunate to have a good master working with her from such a young age. Master? Yeah, probably dead. Please pardon me. The table for a dinner party is set. May I show you the way? Sure. I'm getting bored of waiting anyhow. Alright, wanna go eat fancy? Sure, if I left me starving, let's go dig in! Come on, you two. It'd be nice if you two didn't complain and forget your tape manners for once. Um, this is a dinner party, right? All the empty plates, then. It's pretty nice and forks, though. In fact, it's a formal dinner. Everything comes out in a specific order, starting with oars and oars. Then you use knives and forks from the outside in. And that's all part of having good table manners? And here comes the anxiety attack. Ha ha ha, you're not so bad. This means that you'll get to have some of the finest food available. Manners and etiquette are secondary. Indeed, indeed. I'm told that you're acquainted with everyone who will be attending. No need to get stressed out. Yeah, I guess that's true. Please don't encourage her. No, no. Is the gentleman accompanying you going to be okay with a knife and fork? I told the folks in East, eat East usually use chopsticks. You did your research. However, I'm a firm believer in when a liberal gives a little barrel in his new policy. I'm not especially skilled with them, but I'll use, I will use knife and fork. I elegantly handled. Press, you're as so much of a gentleman as you are a martial arts champion. Ha ha ha, you flatter me. Wait, really is a complete sucker for a pretty face. I think he's, be I think he's being more polite than a lech, though. Hmm? Anyway, his, his grace is really late. What are he's up to? Hmm, indeed. See the head of table is a duke. And who might the other one be for? Indeed. Let's attend for the Princess Claudia. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, my humblest apologies for delay. Sending his grace to duke. Well then, I must apologize for making you wait so. For those in the meet I was in a meeting, which I simply cannot break away. My name is Colonel Richard, commanding officer of the Royal Intelligence Division. I invite him here to thank you for his tireless efforts in helping to deal with the terrorist situation. Pleasure to meet you all. I'm quite gratified to be invited to this occasion by our honorable duke. I ask that you pardon my uncouth soldier uniform and allow me to sit with you. This is what happened. I'm still unnerving. Or is this where we're going to get the final food item then? Haha! <laughs> excellent, excellent! What say you, Mayor Mabel? What do you think of Grant's Castle's Master Chef? Is this cooking on par with Efren and Bose's Antero's restaurant? This is quite remarkable. My selection also perfectly complements the meal. I almost want to try hiding him away. Haha! <laughs> You're not the first to say such things. A few. Is in, wasn't it? Is the food you're liking? Oh, it's excellent. I don't have the words to describe the sense of refinement and depth. I certainly believe I could develop a real taste for the Maryland cuisine, though. Good, good. Glad to hear it. And you, young bracer? I bet you never experienced such fine food in your life before. It's extremely delicious. Far more worthy of being associated with the royal fan than the person who invited us. Haha! <laughs> Indeed, it's a genuine treat. It, it's certainly delicious food. Couldn't miss a chance to attend so prestigious an event as this. Thank you very much for your gracious invitation. Ha ha ha! Very kind of you to say so. I do remember what my butler has been telling me about. Never before, during the Ruin incident, perhaps her face are linked in some bizarre fashion. Hey, yes, sir, maybe so. I got all about us until her butler reminded him. Come, let's put our social classes and ranks aside for the evening. Food is abundant, and the wine flows freely. Enjoy to your heart's content. Your grace? You're good. I'd like to 
and do as we discussed first. Oh yes, that's a fine idea. Actually, something important to say to you fine folks at the kingdom. Celebration is in place to make important announcement. Announcement? What might that be? Hmm. Maybe I'll allow Colonel Bishop to explain in detail. Thank you. You're not aware. Already aware, Her Majesty has been in poor health late. However, she's been recovering and made graces of a public appearance soon. I'll let you know the news. We must go and check in on her. Unfortunately, she's not considered that to be a wise decision at the moment. Good days. She's likely the terrorist plague in the kingdom will be swept away. And that Queen's birthday celebration to be held as originally planned. Well, the citizens are surely be happy to hear this news. They've been looking forward to it. Surely, this is not all you wish to tell us. But, they are all, you could have just sent along a message. Ha, <laughs> indeed, you are correct. My Majesty continued to cover in a sweet state, however, in regard to your condition, she has also issued a proclamation due to her tenuous health. She has stated that she wishes to abdicate the throne and turn her over royal authority to her nephew, Duke Danan. What? Is this true? Joshua, this is... Yeah, the conspiracy finally makes its appearance. Yeah, Duke Danan is just a fool, so he makes an excellent puppet king. Despite your Majesty first broached the subject as well, we are listed left her quite frail. It's really natural. She ruled the kingdom for 40 years, leading it through times of strife and war. All a husband, might I add. Given that, I wish to relieve Eve her of the stress of her duties following the festival's successful conclusion. As heir to the throne, the decisions are mine to make. Terrible. Is your majesty's condition truly that severe? She that I've never noticed any signs in any of my annual visits. Is, it, is this far too serious a matter to discuss it was supposed to be a casual dinner? Part of the rudeness, this still seems to stress credulity. Hmm. Here, Mabel. Are you saying that you cannot take his grace at his word? And nothing of the sort. It simply means that as an elected official, I understand why the successor at the throne can be elected in the same fashion. That's true. I'd so like to hear this directly from Her Majesty. Hmm. Our needs is quite understandable. Do as you try to maintain your composure and allow us to continue. Earlier, I believe Her Majesty will give a formal announcement herself during the festival. Will you be persuaded to shelve your doubts until then? Well, it's basically this. Once the issue comes to knowledge, you can't know how the citizens will react. This way we're telling the leaders first. Help stay off any chaos or public disorder before it happens. It's also a decision of His Grace. Um, well, yes, that is true. And so the Queen's education of the throne will have international repercussions. The nations on the continent who have their eyes on us must be watchful for any actions on the part of the Arabonians. I'm sure you can see why it's necessary to show unified support for the new king. This is the world in which we are going to be living. That sounds so rational. Yeah. Quick master manipulator. In other words, the official decree will be given during the emergency celebrations. So that may be best to inform us first so we can be prepared for any issues that may arise, correct? Haha. <laughs> Glad to see that you have an understanding. This all comes to pass, we're going to find ourselves quite busy. Yes, how to, and how to announce it to the citizens? No question. We have the Duke has a fair claim to the throne. Or is not another who also has the same right of succession? Well, I was referring to Her Majesty's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. So that she and His Grace have an equal claim to the throne, it appears that Her Majesty did not cho choose her due to her tender age. Let's say, I agree with her wisdom in this matter. Hardly you'd like to impose such a responsibility upon a girl so young. Yes, yes, absolutely. I may only be best for Claudia to find a fine marriage prospect. But strictly informal, there's already interest from the royal families of a number of other nations. As the royal wedding could take place as soon as this year. Oh my! I understand. What happens? We'll have two major events to celebrate. Mm. I honestly think she's a bit young for marriage. Excuse me, ask a question. Then? Hmm? I don't speak. I don't mind. Speak freely. Very rude. This doesn't seem like it's a conversation you want outside of hearing. Particularly a foreigner. How come you're making this announcement now? It's only because the serendipitous turn of events a lot of braces win the championship. I want to inform the guild of this in advance as well. We're discussing the idea with Her Majesty. Gotcha! I guess the Burl's military embraces are just on as good a terms as the story say. Haha, <laughs> because we lack the military strength, the Empire of the Public. Harsh reality is that keeping close relations with each other is a must. In any event, do you understand our intentions? Mm, yeah, alright. I'll pass on what we've learned here to the guild then. Man, I heard some pretty unbelievable conversation, my Dave. That was something else. I mean, I'm a foreigner after all. Not big of a deal for me. That's was huge news for you guys, though. Uh, of course it was. I can't believe things have gone this far already, huh? And uh, never mind. But really, what a shame. You're so amazing. You practically melted my mouth. Couldn't tell what the last flavor was, though. <laughs> Understandable enough. Anyway, did you want to go for a walk to work out some of that rich food to sell? Huh? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I could go for a little bit of fresh air. <sighs> Just played a tourist a little while ago. Now you want to take an after dinner walk? Sure, don't get it. Must be a local thing. <laughs> I think you're exaggerating a little bit. You haven't gotten out to taking the sights? There's a lot of historic architecture around here, you know. If it hits me, I might still give it a shot. On the other hand, the kitchen may still have some food left over. Can't be kidding. You're still hungry? If you had, to, if you had a blade in my throat, my dying wish would be for some liquor and a snack. I might go and hunt up a, a bar or something like that in a bit, little bit. <laughs> His victory animation is him pulling out a sake jar. Things have gotten serious. Really, I got. We have to find a way to get in to see your Majesty. At least first, 
Go talk to Headmate Hilda like we promised. Probably knows the way for us to speak directly to the Queen. Right by me. Oh, it's you. Colonel Richard. Haha, <laughs> still in Joshua. It's the first opportunity to speak, truly speak face to face, I believe. That's how we saw each other was right after Mayor Dalmore was arrested, wasn't it? I'm not surprised that you remember us. I realize that we exchanged a few words, but you made quite an impression on me. As you speak, so I did a bit of checking up on you. I'm quite surprised that you were the children of Colonel Cassius. How'd you find that out? Oh, please understand. I'm not trying to show off the intelligence of his capabilities. We're really dead to him from our time together in the army. Indeed, or the words can properly express. I'm just waiting to stay a while and talk. I've been hoping to speak with you two for quite some time now. Huh? Pardon me, Colonel. Don't you have a meeting with His Grace? Oh, am I being late? Ah, uh, yes. If you're going to talk, why don't we use the lounge aside? We have a couple of virgin cocktails. Uh, I'll prepare them, sir. No, that won't be necessary. Why don't you go to His Grace and inform him that I'll be delayed? Uh, yes, sir. Ooh. Pardon me, then. Yeah, <laughs> to see the angry face there. And then, shall we retire to the lounge? Please follow me. Uh, just what, what should we do? Let's see where we had much choice but to follow him. We'll be a little late. We can talk to the headmate later. I hope he doesn't try to drug our drinks or anything. But Cassius, shortly after I graduated from the military academy, assigned to a mobile unit that was under his command. Since that time, I found myself in his debt again and again, both personally and professionally. Uh, he did? Now, what did you think of him at the time? Typically, he was a hero. Master Swordsman to boot. No matter of the scenario, he would find a way to handle all, any number of battlefronts in every direction. It wasn't a matter of sheer tactics, he understood and could direct high-level strategy as well. But simply, he was a man without peer. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were talking about two different people. So you were with our father during the Hundred Days War? Yes, he was my CO. Now, I still vividly remember the excitement that filled me as we executed his plan to turn the war's tide. Every time we get to talking about those days, time just runs away with me. This much I can tell you. Guess he's right up in part of the Royal Army, the barrel would now be part of the Erebonian Empire. N no way! That's kinda hard to believe! Haha, <laughs> well, he was a hero. He had a knack for doing unbelievable things. And if the army immediately after the war, Declining even a medal from the Queen, so few knew of his achievements. Mm. Inside the army, many soldiers still hold him as the prime example of what a hero should be. Uh, never said one word about any of this to me! It's not really the kind of thing you tell your daughter about. It's not fair to criticize him for that. Hey, who side are you on? Besides, why does any of this shock you like it shocks me? You already know about all this or something? I didn't know oh, that he was Colonel Richard's for your officer. The rest I knew about vaguely. Vaguely? You're an accomplice? Hey, calm down! Like he told me any of it, I just figured it out out of my own. He didn't tell me. He told me he didn't feel it was something worth going out of his way to tell others about. I just don't get it. When he comes back, he is so in trouble. Haha. <laughs> Alright, basic Jesus, we didn't mean to interrupt. You know, seeing you like this actually is a bit of relief. When I found out that your father's intending to leave the military, I desperately tried to stop him. But seeing that by leaving, he was best for himself after all. Losing his dear wife, maybe being with you is, was all that he could help him recover. Richard. Now then, I thank you for taking the time to come here. Can't really keep the Duke waiting, so I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. Oh, alright. Apologies for making you so late. Not at all. Both have told me the, the one thing I wanted most to know. Unless I have no regrets. Huh? What's that again? Uh, I'm sure we'll have a chance to speak again soon. Guess they may even be with us then to share in the stories. Hmm. What is the thing he wanted to hear from us? Where's that man? What does he know of Colonel Richard? What are you blabbing about now? It's just that he's weird to hear him talk about Dad that way. He doesn't seem to be so, well, nice. True, he doesn't seem all that villainous anyway. He was so, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that he's got something up his sleeve. So now we should probably put the issue of Dad aside. Yeah, I guess you're right. I say it, I think we might have been playing nice just because he, he could get something out of it. The intelligence officer, you probably think he, that fooling a couple of kids as he as can be. I don't think that's going a little too far. He might be right. Maybe the one who's... Let me be the one who's distrustful of others. You just follow your instincts and believe what you think is right. Huh? But make sure you're prepared for anything. Don't let your guard down. Say it breaks your job. It's pretty much that, in fact. Okay, I got it. Keep that in mind. Thank you, Estelle. Thank you! What the hell are you thanking me for? Anyway, you need to go back and see Hilda. She's probably sick of waiting for us. Yeah, she should be in the main quarters. Can I get something now? No! <sighs>
<coughs> oh, there you are. I'm waiting for you. I'm very late, aren't you? Sorry about that. I kind of got caught by Colonel Richard. Did you know? He has a thing to tell us about our dad. I don't think he has any idea what we're up to, though. Let's see. In the later introduction, you did mention you were Mr. Cassius's children. Then at least some of how Colonel Richard feels. You are dead, too? Hmm. He used to come with... He come here with... Uh, when he worked as General Morgan's aide de camp. I'm told he was a school friend of the late prince's, Her Majesty's son. Late prince, Princess Claudia's father, he was killed 15 years ago in a tragic shipwreck. If we that he was still alive, none of this would be happening. Huh. We think that might be... It might have been a fool's errand. Evening's fast approaching. We must make our preparations at once. Come on in, Shia. Hey, aren't you... Shia, right? Yes. Thank you for remembering. You look well, Estelle. Joshua? Fully current predicament. If it's a more dependable child, he's a great help to us never the princess in the castle. It's Claudia. That shouldn't pose a problem. Thank you. If you ready, we should go change into your uniforms. Remember the headpiece are tricky, so just them for you. Uh, what do you mean? Estelle's gonna need to dress as with a maze in order to get into the royal keep. We'll play with the hair, and you'll blend right in. Oh, I get it. Uniforms don't allow for much in the way of personalization. We have a deal for sneaking in. Huh. Me and the maid's outfit. I wonder if went on since he first met Lila. Cute and breezy and easy to move in. Ha, uh, well, if his were easy to move in, it make cleaning much more difficult. Thought so. Well, let's get the stecker on me. I'm so excited. Let your nice spirits. You need to remember your manners in front of the queen. I would have me to lean on this time. You're not. You're chasing too, aren't you? Ah! Pardon? I mean, he did play the princess during the play at the campus festival. It's really much of a difference between a fancy dress and a maid outfit. That's different. It's a play. You can't appear for a majesty in women's clothes. Oh, you'll be fine. Not at all shameful or anything. Besides, sweet such a gorgeous princess. Not this again. Cut the joke, will you? Tell the say, help me out here. Say something. Anyone? I see. I shouldn't pose a problem. Say, don't you have that extra pair of piece designed for the princess? Yes, it's different news though. He has his full dark hair, so it would probably look good on him. Hey, ho hold on a second. Oh, looks like a 3 to 1 vote! Majority rules! This way, please, we can use this as a changing room. <laughs> but wait a minute, I don't remember if we're going to changing! He just drags him in. Alright, alright! If you have to change, you can do it myself. Uh, Shia, you're not planning on using makeup too, are you? Kids these days. <laughs> Hi. Ta da! Hey, what do you think? Hey, I think he sees you very well. The bright, active maid training. I have to just carry the castle too. Shouldn't they have me given? With an like that, no one would be any of the wiser. Unless you'd like to work at Grand Cell Castle for real and all. This is all settled. Well, we don't do work as a racer, so, uh, anyway. Come on, Jester, uh, get out of here! <sighs> no chance I can talk you out of this? None at all! You're just making this take longer. Fine. Possible sometimes. The camera. The sparkles! <laughs> well, it's almost frightening how good that looks. Isn't it awesome? Looks better on him than it does on me. I'm an actual girl. <laughs> I'm gonna make you can make all the difference in the world. Please, just say you're done. Oh, I suppose so. Show you the way to the royal keep. You can make certain you watch me and learn how to maid handles yourself. Y yes, ma'am. I'm finally gonna meet the queen in person. Yes. Do or die moment. You have to stay focused and get to the royal keep. <laughs> it's hard to take you seriously in that outfit. Well, excuse me. This is your idea. I can't believe you got the nerve to pick on. Sorry, sorry. Don't get all mad. I'll treat you some nice room later, okay? Hmm. I'm like you. I don't like you. I'm not obsessed with food. Hey, I'm not obsessed with food. <laughs> get along so well, don't they? We're out of time. Let's go to the royal keep. Oh, I'm actually leading as her. Daily life as he wishes, after all. That's Charles' words. Maze with you. I don't recognize him. Grace ordered me to hire his additional staff for help. Fully just drive the castle today. Really now. Uh, hey, you're really pretty cute. Thank you. Huh? I didn't feel you met before. Do you stare at every young lady you see? Do you hope you're not thinking any untoward thoughts? 
I'd rather that thing is grace which the colonel would disapprove. Hey, hey, it's not like that! We're leading the royal army, we wouldn't do that! All's well then. You know, please, will you please allow us to pass? Pardon us, ladies. Please go ahead. Yeah, just like, how does she distract him? By scolding him! That's intense. Thanks, Hilda. You're a lifesaver. Really well done. Uh, I'm just glad I can help. Now then, are you planning to change your clothes before you go to see your majesty? For I can just show you the way now. I think I'm okay as is. Boy clothes, now! <laughs> of love of, are you always so self-conscious? What's wrong with what you had on? Now is your self-consciousness. By the way, Hilda, is this room what I think it is? Yes, it's Princess Claudia's bedroom. She really rarely sleeps in the castle, so the room is all but unused. Huh? No kidding. And the princess is telling you the queen. I guess that's his gossip, then. I have to ask Majesty for full details. Where's the second floor of the Royal Keep? I'll take you there. Yeah. Beg your pardon, Your Majesty. I brought the two I spoke of before. This is Joshua and Estelle. Thank you kindly. By all means, enter. As you wish. I'll wait for you here. You going in. You're right. Pardon us. Oh! And there's the queen. Hey! <laughs> I bid you welcome. My name is Alicia von Oslis. I am the 26th monarch of the nation of the barrel. Um, I'm still bright. I'm a junior bracer at the Bracer Guild. And Joshua Bright of the same affiliation. It's a great honor to meet you, Your Majesty. Still in Joshua. I've truly been looking forward to meeting you both. I regret that I cannot offer you proper hospitality. I have prepared some tea. Please, have some and relax. See, first Russell asked you to bring th this information. Pitch black orb and capable of negating all other orbital energies. The colonel has acquired it? As I told us, you might have some idea what he intends to do with it, Your Majesty. Can you tell us anything? Yeah, but a vague idea. I didn't think that the colonel even knew of it. Perhaps I'm worrying about nothing, but even so... Excuse me. What is this vague idea you have? Suppose there's no harm in telling you. Hmm. Roughly ten years ago, a massive orbital reaction was detected beneath Grand Cell. As Russell was the individual who came to investigate. Hmm. It happened in the vicinity of the sewers? No, far deeper underground than that, in fact. Professor Russell was under the impression that it might be a relic of the ancients that still functioned. Wow. It was a bona fide artifact, then. What sort of facts know of it lost their function, like the mechanism on the top of the towers? Now and again, you find... I mean, when they still function, it's like Mayor Dalmore's family heirloom. Something like that is beneath Grand Cell. What did it tell us about the gospel? Did it use to halt the artifact's functions? Could it do that? Yes, however, I'm unable to establish the nature of the artifact, or indeed why it was buried beneath the city. And beyond my imaginings, how the Colonel would know of its existence. So Russell's research on us kept strictly confidential and off the record. You see, in that event, it seems likely that trouble's on the way. I think, as I start to think maybe the colonel might be a slightly nicer guy than you're getting him credit for. It's interesting to note, ten years ago, the massive orbital reaction beneath this castle. And ten years ago was the Hundred Days War. Could those two things be connected? Could like one of them have led to the other? Because, like, and like also that happened, like, because if it happened before the war, that could have been a sign for something, and there's this, like, people in, uh, Erebonia, who knew that was up, because it's like I'm pretty sure uh, Chancellor Osborne is uh, still like doing his thing in, Ere Ere in Erebonia. So it could have been like that big thing happened, and I was just like a beacon. So like the Erebonians came to try and take uh, the barrel to take that. Mm. Or maybe, yeah, I think that's likely the most possible thing. I don't think it would happen like after or during the war. Someone's trying to stir up some trouble. That's when those bracers come in. I'm looking way better evil schemes trying to pull off. <laughs> Maybe less from Cassius' daughter. <gasps> Queen of our father, your majesty? He's afraid of my late sons. A great savior to the nation. And after he retired from the army, he sometimes undertake quests for me. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> I imagine there are quite a great many things about him that you do not know. Kind of precise role he played in the war ten years ago. Some of you have not been told. No, nothing super detailed. Perhaps then, this is the role that I meant to play. Tell Joshua. Indulge me by listening to an old story. Oh yes, absolutely. There's no indulgence, Your Majesty. Ten years ago in the spring, tragedy occurred in the southern reaches of the Erebonian Empire. Its cause is yet unknown, 
This is something I must omit. I probably use that event as a pretext for the invasion of the barrel. Okay, so that's how it started. So being sad times have become known as the Hundred Days War. Just as the Empire made a declaration of war, a massive military force breached the Hocken Gate. It seemed like scant moments, all of the barrel became occupied territory, save for Grunsel. It had the invasion force of three times the size of the entire royal army. Forces for Calvard are too late to stop their advance. It was by a matter of time for Grunsel too would fall. But two months after the outbreak of hostilities, the war changed in a way none could have imagined. Patrol airships had just been developed or used to recapture the barrel's checkpoints, securing the Imperial Army's communications. Or severing. The Royal Army then set about recapturing in the major regions one by one using ships launched from Lyson Fortress. Sice, Ron, Bose, Roland. The supply line severed, the airborne forces occupying each region were swiftly crushed. Mm. One behind this plan for the counteroffensive was none other than one Colonel Cassius Bright. Their father, who was General Morgan's right hand man at the time, was Colonel Richard's very officer. Afterward, the intercession of the Bracer Guild and the Septon Church, the war was brought to the end. And this time, the Cassius lot were the treasure most of all in the world. Lena, their mother is still. The clock tower destroyed in the Imperial Army's vain attempts to hold back the counteroffensive. What followed, I'm sure you know. Cass is not even able to be by his wife's side in her final moments. No, I have no idea. He believes the military operation that he himself had planned effectively caused her death. Knowing himself, he left the military and took up the path of the bracer. All to stay with the only one he had left, you. This time, he swore he would be able to protect those he loved. Dad, that idiot. It wasn't his fault that Mom died. How did he even think that? Still, I guess you were correct. Even though it was lost to service to his country, the possibility falls upon me. And so, I'm sorry, Estelle. I failed to protect your mother. I wish to apologize to you for a long time. But you don't need to apologize! Protect the peace of this country ever since the war ended! At least that Dad and all the other soldiers who defended the barrel in the war fought so hard to protect! The peace that Mom gave her life for so I could live in it. I had nothing to be sorry for. Estelle... You have a kind heart, and I'm grateful. It gladdens my heart to have finally met you in person, now more than ever. Your Majesty. However, that is why, if I do not wish you to put yourself in danger, I'd like for you to remove yourself from any dealings of this matter. What? But, but truly, I mean, Lieutenant Suarez, that's just to help you! I thank you. I'm grateful for your willingness to do so. But if some tragedy were to follow you in Cassius's absence, I know of no apology that could ever suffice. I ask only that you go back to your home in Roland and wait for your father to return. Oh, what? For me, Your Majesty. The peace that Dad restored, that you protect, though it is held firm, now trembles like a leaf in the breeze. Joshua. The Colonel is able to use the gospel for whatever purpose he intends. He succeeds in making the Duke's new king of the barrel. What will become of that peace? I only ask that you consider that. Y Your Majesty? Right when we came to do your bracers, we inherited a whole lot of work from Dad. After Skybed incident, we got that letter in the package. We've been running all over, cre all over creation ever since. It feels to us like Dad's been nudging us in the back this whole time. That's why I went to defend peace, so that everyone we've met, and everyone we care about, go on living secure and happy lives. Just like you. Just like Mom and Dad. This is because it's what I believe is right, and I really want to see it through. Still, it seems she was right about you. Huh? I too am ready. I'd like for you to carry my quest to the Racer Guild. Your Majesty! Manish, we, we will do whatever you ask. Quest to the Racer Guild to rescue those being held captive by the Intelligence Division. Amongst them is my granddaughter, Claudia. Aha! So Princess is being held captive somewhere! Yes. This coup d'etat totally started my back hurts the successor for the, to the throne. In other words, Duke Nan is out of the running. Yes. He was my nephew. He was just a considerable number of character flaws. Brief, wherever he is lacking, where he's lacking my granddaughter shines. To take the nation's future, I would have had my granddaughter succeed me. Um, I don't actually know about her. Personally, I lean towards the idea that your judgment freely should be trusted here. No matter the era, there will always be those who reject strongly to a woman wielding political power. Imagine the memory of the invasion by a large power still relatively fresh. Some would perceive her succession of two consecutive queens as be a sign of weakness. Highly surprising that such a notion has taken root in the minds of some. Some, including Colonel Richard, I presume. Quite right. Cardi's pending accession to the throne caught him unawares. That, along with his passing of this information to the Duke, is what led to this coup. So staged, the barrel would become a strong military power, the Colonel, colonel ruling from the shadows. I see. Now let's see the whole picture. So if the barrel became a militarized country, what would happen then? 
bring many things. Taxes would be levied to fill the war chest, or the weaponry would be developed with the express intent of causing havoc on a massive scale, wide ranging of policy and conscription would be adopted, no doubt contracting Jaeger Corps would be made legal, which is not the case at present. No, indeed. Colonel's made very adamant that I enact such policies. I thought such proposals were born out of genuine love for his country. I never agreed that they were the right course of action to take. Our army has done all that protects this land. We have worked hard to maintain treaties with other countries. Defending a nation goes hand in hand, a free culture exchange, a trade of all of our nations to benefit of all. I feel the same way, Your Majesty. Yeah, makes sense to us. Colonel Ever finds his notions to be womanly and foolishly idealistic. He demands I educate the throne in exchange for Claudia's safe return. Many people have had family members taken to ensure they would not dare oppose the colonel. I am the queen. I will not allow that all all that love my country destroyed simply because of blood ties. So she's my only granddaughter. I simply cannot allow her to die. Your Majesty, please try to relax. We hear and comply with your request. See to it that the princess is rescued from those who have imprisoned her. Thank you, both of you. Your assurance, I'll do all all that I can to oppose the colonel's demands. Um, have you any other requests, Your Majesty? Gossip will tell us to be dealt with. I don't think we should just leave you here. Your sentiment, Estelle. The present state of affairs is not contingent upon my freedom or imprisonment. The gospel shall continue to weigh heavily on my mind for a great many reasons. For my part, I'll attempt to ascertain the colonel's true intentions with it. Hmm. Back in the main outfits. Wow, what a totally awesome person. Super nice, with a seriously strong will. I hope I'm even one tenth that cool when I get old. Cool. You actually just call the queen that? So she definitely has what it takes to govern a whole country. Yeah. Or to stop this coup, coup thingy and help her. Definitely decide to embrace her justification. First things first, we do whatever we can. All right. But you know, I'm still freaking about the whole what Queen told me us about Dad. If we've got any more tidbits, she'd be willing to share. So, Joshua, have you finished the changing? Oh, yeah. We should return to the waiting room at once. It's already after 11 o'clock. Actually, it's almost midnight. Whoa, is it really that late? The queen's spoke to us for a long time. No longer, it's enough to make the guards suspicious. David Silva? Yes, I believe so. Is sure not to, just not to do Her Majesty any further discourtesy? That's not fair. Please relax. We are patriots of the core. That's good to hear. I believe that we shall be on our way. Pardon me. I leave. Oh, wait, ladies. I think we don't... I don't think we ever got your names. Ask them? Uh... I'm gonna do letter. My, isn't that a lovely name? What does it ring to it? I, uh, thank you very much. How about you, miss? You call me Karen. Karen, you say? It's a very pretty name. You're too kind, sir. I'm rather fond of myself. Are you now? Alright. It's a special loss. My name is? I think it's just about enough. It's just an alternative motive at work. No, I mean, at least not from us. Uh, please be on the way home. I think there's some awareness that, like, Two new, two new maids walked in. Aren't you, Mr. Popularity? It's like all their eyes, eyes all changed when you told me your name. Hey, it was not. It's a you shine away from joining in the conversation. Sure, doesn't mean I was nervous. Uh, I kind of lost all my confidence there. Yeah. <laughs> What's all the noise about? Oh, oh do you not? Ah, the lady of the court. Hey, you maids. You don't look familiar. Two of the new hires I'm instructing. This is Lena, and that's Karen. They're quite, they're still quite inexperienced. Giving some, them some time, some tr extra training time. Hmm. Oh, did he recognize us? Okay. Okay, no, Tessie, we're in the gym. He pressed our feet. Didn't recognize us. Hey, no, Philip. Enough of the staring. Ha ha ha. Question usual to see coming from you. Stiff upper lip and all. Please pardon my rudeness. Look much like my niece. My wife's been playing tricks on me, it seems. Dreadfully sorry for the discourtesy. Oh, it's no bother. Please don't consider yourself. You know, now that I stop and look at it, I would say you both are quite lovely. You have the brown hair. I have a very healthy, clean look to you. <sighs> As for you, I personally think you look the best with the raven hair of yours even longer. I I'm honored. Ah, yes. I know, is it not? You should attend to me this evening. Uh, y Your Grace. I don't want to serve him deep. I don't think tea is what he wants to serve. Grace, your flirtations while flattering are best saved for another time and place. All the maids of the castle work directly in service to her majesty, Queen Alicia. Trust you've not forgotten. I know, I know. Some folks simply can't appreciate the joke. 
The castle will be mine in a week's time anyways. Let's just set time for some fun then. Your Grace, please no more of this. I don't mind when you drink the excess, but <laughs> you know how your libido gets in such instances. I say this knowing full well and we uh, may be reprimanded for it. I said I was just joking. Enough. I'm going to bed. I switch your grace. Room is right over there. Hmm. Whoa. All right, Lena. Let me know if you have any problems. Anything at all. I hear the best advice the future king can give. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Yes. Good, good. I apologize, I'm sir, unreservedly for all the fuss. The guys will likely remember nothing of this come the morning. Please, set your mind at ease. She surely hopes so. Truly sorry. Madam and young missus, I beg your pardon. I must take my leave. I feel so badly for him. I'm trying to see to bear, to bear the way the world on his shoulders. Oh, to Mr. Philip, personally? Yes, ever since we were children. Though not nearly as well as we... We went to it thanks to when he serves. You see, it seems like he's nervous all the time, doesn't he? Because everything between the Duke and the Colonel has him completely on edge. Probably, yeah. By the way, was that you were saying earlier about me being the popular one? Duke certainly seems awfully fond of you. Uh, please, I like to keep my food in my stomach, thank you. All right, back to four. I feel like I'm missing something. Why would the Duke want tea so late? Uh, well, you see, Estelle, allow me to loose take the matter of tea, and my gentleman should never request it in polite company. Huh? huh? Come closer. Yeah. He wanted to have sex with you. Now do you understand? Uh, yes. Hopeless. Completely hopeless. Thanks for everything, both of you. Now for you, I don't know what we would have done. Please, at least think we could do in Her Majesty's service. Only ask, only ask that you complete the question made of you. Uh, I feel the same way. Here's you. Do everything in your power to save the princess. Oh, are you one of her royal retainers? Yes, I regret they really get the chance to serve her directly. She's so kind and open. She always treated me more like a friend than a servant. I love her being held captive keeps me up at night. Stan, we can rest easy now that we're on the job. We'll save her. Can we going? But where's she being held? They never told us, like, where they're kept uh, holding them. What, Madam Choir, are you doing in th at this late hour? Ah. Captain Althea? Hee good evening. I realize that you've been invited here. Do you think it's a bit late for you kids to be out walking around? Please pardon us. We're simply never in the castle of the Couldn't resist the to look around. It's certainly it's understandable. So where were you? Half an hour ago. Please enlighten me. It's only for my own notification. Like what I want to say is either the kitchen or the maid quarters. I feel like telling the truth, like, like, it is like this is where we were, and then spinning about why we were there. Mm -hmm. By your honesty, let's not waste time on games. And in fact, we see some reports of you going in and out of the maid quarters. I think a bit odd me looking around in that particular place. Wow. I think that questioning someone like that, we already have the facts a little cruel. Haha, <laughs> I think that's a compliment. So what business have you in the maid quarters? Yes, you are so honestly. We, we... Oh, Estelle, Joshua! You've been here all the time? Zen! Oh, he is so drunk. Look at him wobbling. And he's drinking more. Whoa, now that's the stuff! You're drunk. Oops, heh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, I can see the blush on his portrait. Uh, hey, if it ain't my favorite gorgeous officer lady. Nice! So lucky we meet up again, huh? I, I suppose. What's going on? Are my students here causing you trouble? Students? Just say we're in the maid course for a while. I really want to know if their business. Simply a security precaution. Huh. Oh yeah, I totally get ya. I said I'd about to find some munchies to go with my booze. Hey Joshua, you kids find anything to eat? Nope. Cooks aren't back yet, I'm gonna guess. We went to the uh, we went to ask the maid if there's anything any way we could get our hands on something. No luck. <laughs> oh well. I see with that I guess. Hey, this is a great idea! You gotta come and join me for a drink? I mean, hey, nothing goes to drinks like a beautiful lady. I I'm afraid I'm busy, so I'll have to decline your generous offer. How's your misunderstanding? 
I should advise you to turn your room and remain there for the rest of the night. To investigate any suspicious activity, you understand? I, I have a feeling Zinn is not nearly as drunk as he's pretending to be, and is just saving our asses. By giving us an excuse, he's giving us an excuse for, like, why we were where we were. And then he's also just spitting on Abelthea and driving her off. It is late. Probably just get to bed. Haha, <laughs> very good then. Excuse us. Ah, uh, denied. Oh well. Let's we'll just go back to the room. Alright, I'll go with you. Looks like I managed to convince her at least. Huh? Sin, aren't you drunk? I was acting drunk. I haven't had a single drop. No way! Your face didn't even get all red! I was making this blood circulate better, which means it looked like he was intoxicated. It's done with some kind of Eastern martial arts breathing exercise, right? Huh, you find that you're familiar with it. But hey, seems to be in a tight spot, so I figured I'd distract everyone. Nice, huh? Said you're making as the saying goes. <laughs> you're an evil man, Zen. Okay, sure you did help us out, but you also surprised the hell out of me. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that. What's the story? What story? I would have thought it'd be obvious. The story of you meeting with the Queen. Whoa, wait, what? How do you... Did Al Nan tell you something about this? Actually, I couldn't get him to tell me anything. Now I know anyway, don't I? <laughs> but our knowledge is no way you could have just guessed. How much do you really know? Haha, <laughs> this is finally time to show you this. His pocket hand is still in Joshua. What's this? I'm just handwriting. You understand there? Read it. I'll explain a lot. Is it dad? Hmm. Dear Zin Vothic, I know this letter, hope this letter finds you well. I know I've been out of touch. I'm in a hurry, so I hope you'll pardon my bluntness. My work concerning the Jaegers is leading me into Imperial territory. However, due to the fact that unusual forces seem to be influencing matters inside Libero, I feel uneasy being absent for so long. I must ask a favor of you. So I you to come to Libero and help out if they need it. So you have, haven't been Libero before, perhaps it, you could think of it as a recreational trip. There's a martial arts competition for the Queen's birthday celebration, and foreigners can participate. It would make fine camouflage. I realize this is sudden. If you can do it, I would be most grateful. Tending to return to Libero for the festival, Hopefully, we'll be able to have a drink together when I return. Cassius Bright. Yes, the chance to meet my son and daughter. They're currently a princess of the guild. If you have to meet them, feel free to test the extent of their training. Try to bail them, try not to bail them out too much, unless it seems like they really need it. I, I'd actually asked you to come to the barrel. It means he's in Erebonia now. It's long and short of it. Long and short of it? First, what, what, it, what it means is that you were in Kutu all along. I like how I've been asking me to put it, don't you think? I would Master Cassius a favor for the time he spent in Calvar. The letter just gave me the chance to make a square again. I suppose. When did you realize we were his kids? I feel like from the outset, what's the still still technique of a bow staff? Ask Kilka about it, and I confirmed it. It'd have been nice if you said something about it at all. Alright, sick, wondering where Dad's been. You know, I'm sorry I haven't said anything. I got the impression the letter is trying to keep his whereabouts a secret. Still, you're definitely his kids, alright? If you can pull a job as big as seeking an audience with the Queen. I suppose so. Now, this much, wouldn't it hurt to tell him everything, right? I agree. Probably best to fill Zinn in on everything. It's a bit for a fest to say a, that we could put an end to the whole situation on our own, after all. Tell Dasha told him how they managed to speak directly to the Queen of the Queen's request to safely rescue Princess Claudia. I see. I think it seemed a little off when everyone was talking at the party. Alright then, I'll help you out with this little request. Uh, you will? Yeah. This is the ideal opportunity to sell my debt to Master Cassius. Please, let me help. We'd be glad to. Thank you once again. Yes, but where are they? Ooh. What is this place? I never would imagine if something this even existed. Ancient technology thing. The relic. Oh, and it looks like the inside of the towers. Haha, <laughs> it's larger than I expected. Then Lawrence, could you be so kind to show us the way to the lowest level? Yes, sir. Whoa! Whoa! Is that kind of a mechanical monster? Well, well, this be the Archaisms! <laughs> got a katana, I heard, maybe. Holy shit! You got a thing one stroke! Haha, <laughs> you're quickest to react. But they truly force to reckon with you, don't hold back. You flatter me, sir. Your quick draw is unique as well. With quite a miracle of the whole. See, you study under divine light himself. I'm humble. Haha, <laughs> the way to go for I can really humble anyone, I'm afraid. Time we should know, man. Kill to possess now will have to be enough. Strength may be meager, but must forge this king's future with my own two hands. Hey, brave men! The way to the ultimate tower is open! A bright new dawn approaches our beloved Libero! Effectively, the best of you to you! 
By your orders, sir. We have a special loss. The work is waiting for the colonel. For the glory of the bell! For the glory of the bell! Yeah, like, the colonel is definitely seeming like... Uh... Uh, he's, like, doing... Uh, he, he honestly believes that what he's doing is the best for the country. Like, this... He believes that the country is on a would be on a bad path if Princess Claudia took over. And so he believes that he is the best one to lead the country into what it needs to be to protect itself and defend itself. Well, for me, I believe you were able to deliver the princess press message to her majesty in person. Haha, <laughs> we just got lucky as hell. Look at this, how much longer is luck going to be on our side? Yes, really going to have to stay focused. I feel like there's nothing more I need to tell you. Okay, so consider Professor Russell's request to be fulfilled. Since the compensation for Jabal's uh, 17 BP. And then, Sin, pure providence that Cassius invited you here. Need the help of an A-bank major like yourself? You didn't even ask. Because if I didn't have a dead to Cassius, we would stand by idly in situations like this. We do until the end? I don't get counting you, Sin. But anyway, what's this A-bank business? It's really this signifies the full French blazer's full power. My seven ranks range from G at the bottom to A on the top. Geez, the highest rank you can get? Wow. I never knew you were such a badass, Sin. <laughs> well, I may be A-rank, but I'm still an underling, so to speak. There are 20 A-rankers across the continent. But among, among them, there's an informal S-rank. That, that was only granted bracers successfully resolve issues on a national scale. Only four of those entire continents. Whoa. I'm not even sure what to think of uh, what they can do. I really don't know any of this stuff, do you? Those four is Master Cassius. Yep. What? Okay, just shut up. We're not going to tell it. You're not going to tell me about this already, right? Right? Sorry, but yes, I did. He sold a major case to the Republic about five years ago. I swear, it's hardly worth ever getting upset about it anymore. Royal Army soldier, hidden hero, divine blade, S-Rank bracer, place to damn dust him. I'm sure it'd be nice if he come back and take care of this case. <laughs> you may be right. If with us, perhaps this would have been this escalator coup d'etat was even possible. Never have escalated. That's what's wrong. Let's think about how strange this is. Whole two events apparently started with Dad going off on his trip. As if whoever planned the coup was waiting for him to be gone. At least, is this the impression I have? Oh. I'm saying it doesn't include his plan on his departure from the, for the Empire? Am I correct? No. I'm sure that would be overthinking things. I cannot I can't think of anyone who could possibly manipulate Dad like that without him noticing he was being used. You have to know of him and his behavior patterns. He kept me well to be able to pull it off. Well, yeah. He never knew what he was up to, even though he was so close. Hmm. I don't think that even Colonel Benjamin could ever manage to pull a wool all over his eyes. Or likely, since the two major events happened to overlap with each other. In terms of the circumstances, we cannot currently rely on Cassius to help. Therefore, I'm resolved to prepare for the worst. Mercy conference of the Grenzel Bench the Bracer Guild is called for. Huh? Well, the vehicle, we have a request that comes directly from Majesty the Queen. The third article of Bracer Guild still so we shall never act in fashion that interferes with the government. Category of Majesty requests, however, so we must act. We're no master royal army as we are. Ask the cooperation of all Bracers in Grenzel, including Zen, of course. Oh, okay. The conflict with the Intelligence Division, we need all the help we can get. Ideally, without the cooperation of other branches, the checkpoints have been completely sealed off as of today. This will lead to foil any potential terrorist activity. What? Basically, it amounts to martial law. Germany is finally moving at full tilt. Maybe to stifle any activity on part of any rural guardsmen in hiding, as well as ourselves. But to conduct a rescue operation, it has to be with the resources on hand. Oh, fun. But we're up to it! So, do we have a solid idea of where the prisoners are being held? It's been on my mind for a while now, actually. I believe the most likely place is the Herb Royal Villa. Building the forest, right? It would make sense. If soldiers are using it under the pretense of counterterrorism. Few would question it. Imagine they want to lock a lady of the royal family in a cell in licensed fortress. But I guess the army that we're going to be going against here. I like more solid confirmation, however. If we assault the wrong place, we'd have to hell to pay for it. Yes, precisely. In the case, what's the symbol? Any braces currently in the royal city? That's your symbol. Them here for me. Any information we can gather while doing so will be much appreciated. You're not mistaken, Estelle. You and your friends are creative for Porter, correct? Oh, you mean Nile? Yeah. I see if he's picked up anything significant. Also, we must enlist the aid of the guardsmen who are in hiding. If you get them to contact me, we'd be greatly appreciated. In other words, you need to get in touch with Sister Julia. If there's an invitation with four, let her know what's going on. So, Oscar G. Legion? For other base in the city, Kurt, Kurt, Brett, Karna, and Elise take the bars at our usual hangouts. They also be in the hotel. See them? Please instruct them to come back here. Sure thing. Alright, then off we go. I gotta round everyone up.
Hey, Scrant! Well, well, if it isn't Big Bad Champions. Here you guys spent the night at the castle. Frankly, it's surprised to see you back so early. You need anything good? Yeah, we did. That's not what we're here to talk about. What's on your mind? And he's raising Queen's request to Grant. Oh, crap! I'm pulling my leg, are you? We are not. Every word is true. Make a reputation on it. The removal is moved by this. It's all the proof I need. Do whatever I can to help. Count on it. Thanks, Grant. Meet me at the Guildhouse to plan a strategy as soon as possible. If you please, head over there when you can. Understood? Go, old friends. I'll kidnap you there. What about Oliver? Never be able to stand the passion that tells deep within me. Somebody save me. Not talking to me. I'll have to like this sometimes, you know? Sounds like you didn't confess yet. G9. Victor decided in martial arts competition. Fight is over. Crown goes to an unlikely team. Last of the special ops units slowly sink to their knees. Referee raises his hand, the entire arena erupted in fanfare. The competition, which got to Rocky start as a change to take the team matches, he had another unforeseeable surprise making your fans from a team of unlikely victors led by Zin Vathak of the Calvard Republic. For anyone out there who could anticipate such a feat, martial artist, two bracers, and a musician, an unheard of combination to say the least. This is the group who that advanced the finals and took the crown by defeating the elite special operations unit. It just goes to show it's not over till it's over. Winning teams, winning teams members continue to work effect effectively by leveraging their individual talents in complete harmony with one another, playing off each other's strengths, touch their self, and event replete with powerful heated battles in each team dynamics, and ended explosively to Thunder Salvation. Braille News wish to honor the valiant efforts of all those who participated in this year's proceedings. Winning team invited to the Royal Banquet. The ceremony held at the conclusion of the competition, the winning team is awarded a cash prize of 100,000 mira invitation to the Royal Banquet. I, I want to drink more, but I also don't want to run off my drink. Formal dinner will be hosted by Duke Don Don Oslis. The mayors of each city and other various persons of influence are also scheduled to attend. I mean, Queen Jewel sign a recovery. Real news has been formed that Her Majesty the Queen has been recuperating. It's expected to return to official duty soon in anniversary celebrations, which is in danger of being postponed. Now it's surely conducted on schedule. In days, with the suddenly news becoming the norm, it's really wonderful to see such joyful tidings. The division sets up defense. The search for the officers of the ex royal guard, accused of being acting as bringing them a series of terrorist related incidents, who would be an onerous one, making little headway. The Villas division decided to station members of the unit with the royal, then the royal city and moved to further step up defensive measures. All security positions covering Grand Hall Castle are expected to be regulated to the same unit. Agent Dragon sighted. Parts have made their way to our news desk regarding the sighting of an enormous silhouette making its way across the sky above Ravnu Village, the northern part of Bo's Village. Public speculation result rather around the object in question is back to the ancient dragon which has been living in the world since before the Great Collapse. During the statements by a number of researchers, the Bose region was the last place the ancient dragon has been sighted, giving further credence to the claim that the great creature may still be presently living among us. This concerning the ancient dragon they also began to take a leap into the public spotlight of the late. The reported sightings have, of course, only fueled researchers' excitement. Is it the big dragon or is it the... the ship? The special royal guard ship. But isn't Zen and the new recruits back in the castle already? Oh yeah, I guess we are. At least come on your time. Hmm? You share something juicy you're gonna share with me? By juicy you mean spill your juice all spill your juice all over you in shock, then yeah. Real juice bomb. Ooh, we have my end of my attention! Should we talk about this in here or should we sit down for it? Huh? Should we get absolutely clear? This isn't a joke. Thinks you get serious in a big hurry. If you don't do if they do, only your help. Let's see. Sorry, my head's just a little terrible for how screwed up this whole situation is. I really get all this. You want everyone to meet at the guild house, right? Right, I'll let them fill you in on all the details. Okay then! I'll go see you at stuff. Oh, 
Yeah, I like this. I'm instructed to keep Oliver from leaving the embassy premises. You're probably refraining from acting on his behalf, too. At least for the time being. Yeah, he's been just... He's been kind of getting like, held in place. Putting time out. Tell one mention as a place to look. Go into every single room. Oh, here we go. She can remember that time a little better. Like a thick fog blanketing the whole thing. Yeah, this is definitely being uh it definitely feels like uh, a setup for something later. Oh, hi Kurt! Good to see you here. Hi, still. Hi, Joshua. Oh, it's you too. Did you know that we were going to that dinner party at the castle yesterday? That's when those two rookies took on a pretty major assignment. What major assignment? I think it's best if we tell you more or less the whole story. Wait, all the circumstances that led to the request from the Queen. You're serious? Of course we are. That's why we need your help. No, that's not it. But I've selected Her Majesty's request of you. Black Orbin and the Colonel has. It's real? Kurt? What's wrong? You look awfully pale. Ugh. Ah! Ah! Whoa! In the world? Step away from him. Huh? Uh, shade? <laughs> uh, uh. What is that? You didn't touch him and he acted like he got electrocuted. Special spirit channeling, spirit channeling breathing method. You directly affect the target's body without direct physical contact. I don't normally like to be so rough, but time is exactly on our side. How are you feeling? Uh, wow, actually a lot better. Can't remember every detail. A good bit of it's coming back. Let's say it's a shock. I think it'll be alright. What do you remember? Did I say before? There's an accident around three months ago. Have some memories while you're working, right? Yes, someone asked me to check up on those men in the black outfits. It's like something suspicious from them. That was the Black Ordnance. <sighs> the person who gave you the assignment. Yes, it was your father, Cassius. He wasted no time packaging it up, sending it to him. That's really as far back as I can remember. The K in the package was you! Yes. I just remember there being a note that said to have Professor Russell analyze it. I get it. The package is delivered to you two. Is there anything after that? Anything happened after you sent out the package? Yes, after that support, someone called out to me. And then? It's no good. It's still one big blur. Probably best I'm not pressing your luck. It's likely just cause strain that you can't handle yet. It's not right. I'm just really amazed that you're able to remember anything at all. That's a bigger question. Who could have done this? Maybe the special ops guys? It's possible. Maybe you said nasty poison on Agate after all. It's as if they're manufacturing and testing new drugs. Maybe they made something to cause memory loss. Ugh, now that's a cheerful thought. Plus, there's a guy that it's boss, Mayor Delmore, to consider. I have to be really careful. I'm oh, sorry. I don't have anything really useful to tell you. I know what I'm asking asked you to do. I want to help, if you'll let me. What? Are you sure you'll be okay? Sure, my memory be a little like a C, but physically, I'm fine. I you for your help, so please allow me to make it up to you. Think up to it, sure. You ever got a strategy? For now, let's meet up back at the guild. Alright, you have my thanks. That's what's up with, like, the memory blank. He is the one who took the Black Warman from Special Ops in the first place. But, like, and after he sent it off, uh, like, his, his, like, his memory of this, like, all the uh, Black Warman and everything else was wiped away to, uh, so he wouldn't remember anything about that. And it's a you didn't see anything situation. Oh, that's the that's the door out. Sister Ellen is who we're looking for. Members of the Bracers, Brace Guild, I mean. Like, first sister, Ellen? Where are you now? But I guess that you share complicity. You with her then? For none? Ew, no! Just asking if you know her real identity, Estelle. Here's some information she asked us to find. It's 
sorry to say she's not going to the cathedral. I didn't say goodbye to me this morning and left. Where to? I mean, do you know where she might have gone? If only I did! Close to the royal family for many years. It always regarded me as a friend and confidant. This time she refused to give any details. No one wished to keep in the se She no doubt wished to keep the search church from getting too deeply involved in whatever is occurring. See, it wouldn't worry though. She had the light of hope in her eyes as she departed. Confidence she was now running away to all her despair, but for a more noble cause. Well, that's good, at least. The thing is, I kinda need to, her to stay in touch with the royal guard guardsmen. I'll beg it for rain, the good desert only gets you sand. We should probably go. Do is covertly a keeper, and I have for other royal guardsmen. Not that it was a efficient plan, this is all we got. See be between a rock and a hard place, the same. Remember that Ideos helps those who help themselves. Do all that you can, and Ideos surely take care of this rest. Hard and honest work will always lead you on the right path. So next place up to go is the news. He's to get completely wrapped up when he's looking for the next big story. You know, close to our state of martial law. I don't know. I don't much like that he hasn't contacted the cipher. Ah, uh, yes! He disappeared that night! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Niall was going off to meet someone of his, and has since been captured! Hello, Dorothy. Pardon us. What's your perfect timing? Good afternoon. We're just talking to Niall, but I guess he's not around. We're just talking about. Actually, Niall hasn't shown up here today or yesterday. No word from any or anything, huh? Yesterday or today? Book of him in the evening two days ago. Really? What do you mean, really? You gave us a message to me and Fridios' sake. You could have talked to him about the semifinals. All oh, right, now you mentioned it. Did he say anything to you? Like where he was going? Right, I remember what happened. He just got a call from someone that he, ha that he said he had to leave. Are you serious? Yes. I haven't seen hide or hair of him since. Oh no, I can't believe Niall's dead! But who said he was dead? It takes all the airliner traffic to get shut down. Everything was normal yesterday, though. So maybe he went to another province. He inquired the landing for his passenger registry. No sign of him. Fear he's still to be somewhere in town. Hmm. You're the last one to receive this morning, fellow. What are you talking to him about something for a news article? Are, these are times we live in. Controlling the media is a big deal for the military. What do you think, Chief? I certainly can't agree with, argue with that. Maybe the case of the intelligence division, they monitor and censor everything we do. And believe how frustrating it is. Which means that you can't get much information for your stories. But... But it's in the reporter's nature to want to get as much possible in the hands of the readers. I see. We need to check up a new subject that the Intelligence Division hasn't started censoring yet. What's the last thing you told us about? I think it's about... An arranged marriage for Princess Claudia. Duke mentioned something about it at the dinner party. Oh no, I told you about that too! Make a hell of a story if it's true. Mention how he gets some evidence, evidence at any cost. A report like now even learn about something like that. I thought about that something like that would only be known to a royal family. Since he had friends with someone who worked in the Orb Royal Villa, clearly off the record, Paris was supposedly after the princess. She's secretly staying in the villa for her own safety. I knew it! Ha! Huh. The veil is lifted. The person who he was talking to is his friend in the villa, which would mean that Niall's probably there too. They don't say. If I know Niall, he'd probably try to worm his way in for an interview with the princess. The soldiers saw him later who arrested on the spot. No! Niall's got her! Why do you keep coming back to that? If he has been arrested, Getting him out is gonna be easy. Yeah. The better that he and the Princess Claudia are pretty much in the same situation. Not to do people know. Have any information about what's going on in the city and all of the barrel? They can't talk about it. Just let the British girl take the air of Nile. Been arrested, we'll see to you at day's release. Alright. Please do whatever you can. Please you guys! Gotta bring Nile back! Leave it to us. Yeah, so either he like his like uh contact like betrayed him to the It's been a while, so let's see. Like, I know this place. Because, yeah, like, this is the place where I turn in the, the, uh, the weapons. I turn in forget the weapon. Yeah, it says, like, Barrel's Coffee House before attacking the villa. That's what my notebook says. So that's when I'll be going to turn in the weapon. So I have one person left to find. Let's check the shops here in the south block. Let's bring it again. 
Jeremy. Yep, there she is. Hi, Karna. Hey, look who it is. Oh, you got old man's energy. What's going on? Long story. Oh, you sound serious. Please, you're the queens across the to Karna. Uh, you're not just pulling my leg, are you? It's a bit, I find it a bit odd that all the gates and ports have such been shut down. So, what you want to be exactly? You need to get everyone together and form a plan. If you would, please meet us at the guild. Gotcha. Already there. Sorry, sir, no contact. I believe we've gathered the intelligence we need. I've explained everything they learned to the Cathedral of the Barrel News HQ. See, conclude that for a certainty that Princess Claudia is inside the villa. Unfortunately, you are unable to make contact with the Royal Guardsmen. At least you know they haven't been captured. Can get started then? Yes. You need to start working on the details of the rescue operation. Are we up to date in the pretty detail of the intelligence division's planned coup d'etat then? Give us information. She consider ourselves under contractual obligation to Queen Alicia. I better believe what I'm hearing. I shamed myself for not noticing something was amiss sooner. Trust those special ops troops from the very beginning. I really trusted Colonel Richard. He was behind the Sky Bandits and Mayor Delmore. He completely snowed. Can't let him get away with it, that's for sure. You want to be counting on to complete co cooperating this assignment? Damn straight! Lead the way. You guys have black eyes. <laughs> Rhyme in unintended. Coming in for sure! Gonna be good! Got strong allies. We're both of bail, without a doubt. Now, let me explain the details of this mission. I do fast, as there are lives at stake here. That's the most elegant approach. I believe taking control of the villa through frontal assault is our best option. I have time to try and find some route to infiltrate. I guess it's the only option we got. I'll be divided. Two groups, a decoy team and a rescue team. The team will draw the attention of the main force while the rescue team makes their, its way into the villa. Remember, though, we're dealing with the intelligence division's special ops here. Mate, I'd like to just also add an ambush team to aid the decoy team, the second decoy team to assist the rescue. How many teams we got? Man, we're really teaming, in with, teaming with teams here, but why do we need those? The MS team would lie in wait until the decoy team draws out the enemy forces, and then both teams can attack at once. Meanwhile, the second decoy team attempt to break the enemy's ranks, allowing the rescue team to enter the villa more easily. Oh, I see. I guess that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, the whole double decoy thing. Yeah, because the, uh, like, of course there's, like, obvious, uh, chance of a decoy, and then you have, like, the second come in after the decoys have, like, done their business, and, like, ha, here's the real thing! But it's, like, there's also the decoys, so while, like, the dude decoys are t just, like, keeping the tensions off to the side, the real infiltration can happen right through the middle. Do you have members of spread among four squads? No, we don't. We can't the other guild benches, but the airship's grounded, we're pretty much on our own. Crap, that's Sharon Agate. I agree with Zealand that trying to carry out this operation of only two squads is risky. Let's be damn the strategy. Never all your luck. luck, and we maybe we can be of assistance. Hey, there she is! Can it swords? Oh no, it is sister military. Pleasure to meet you all. Royal Guardsman Subcommander Lieutenant Julius Schwarz. The guardsmen are here at your disposal for this operation. Your participation will be most invaluable. You have nine soldiers in your squad, including yourself. Many troops are incognito, stationed all throughout the city. Assemble them within an hour. That's great. Two shores. How did you know we were going to try to save the hostages? I tried to find your cathedral and tell you, but you had already disappeared. Did you? My apologies. I knew that you had accepted the Queen's mission. You found out last night. Last night? We just met the Queen last night ourselves! That's the more that. Our sources for our military intelligence of the sort. The matter now is that our Highness gave us the order to assist. We are happy to do it. Sources. I want sources. Can I share some of yours? Um, I, I don't... I'm pretty sure it's the bird. Uh, being of acting as a messenger bird. Let's leave it at notice, though. More importantly, the guards and assistance will give us extra forces we need to fill the ambush and support teams. I need this additional manpower to a chance of success have increased exponentially. The extra manpower secured, we should start deciding on the teams immediately. After that, we need two decoy teams, right? We five my troops should be sufficient for one of them. Yeah, this World Guard uniform should definitely catch their attention. That's exactly. Target the intelligence division's aerial squad, taking just the outskirts of the Arab Cena crowd. Thinking, aerial squad? You know me? 
Maybe she does. Come see, can we downskirts? I mentioned it. I'm sure she'll land out there that has, that's been completely blockaded. My intelligence, there's only a skeleton crew guard station there. Attack, and I have no alternative but to call the middle of reinforcements. I get it. That's some good decoying right there. Then when reinforcements show up, the ambush team pops in and takes it all out, right? We should run the ambush team then. I knew all those years of hunting down monsters in the bush today pay, pay off one day. Got a gunner too. Oh, we'll be handled. We'll be able to handle this, no problem. Right, two teams locked down. After rescue and decoy too. These dick and decoy teams should also be composed of my royal guardsmen. Special ops will definitely drop their guards more readily to apprehend them. Leaves us the rescue team. Other teams will be acting right to cover for us. It's the most important assignment on the field by far. There's no game. Play an actual role. It's a crucial turning point for our history. Make sure you're up to the task. Sheesh, no pressure. <laughs> no need to worry. We will persevere. History favors the just. Okay, here's the Grand Soul Martial Arts Competition Champion! We're the ones keeping the majority of the enemy force busy. And hopefully, all you'll need to worry about are hostages. Julia, Elnon, Zen, I. We, Estelle, what we're looking for is we. We can do this, and we will. You're right. You're so, so right! We're gonna kick some special ops special asses! That's the spirit! Good plan. Actually, again, at nightfall, use the dark for cover. When the operation begins, you won't have the, any opportunity to return to the city. So, have loose ends, stop, speak now, or I'll hold your peace. Yeah, it's getting pretty real. Should your highness be made aware of the plan? Everyone, not here. Got it? Oh, yeah, that's it. It's an extra floor. Now I should be able to go over to the coffee house and get a stellar Joshua's ultimate weapon for all of the books. For attacking the villa. Hey, you guys would happen to have the complete collection of Cornelia, would you? Wow, you do? I've always meant to buy every new volume when it came out. I never got around to it. It's like. I can always read the whole series when it's finished, right? Now, it's pretty much impossible to find the whole set for sale in one place! Thank you, please! Can we depart from Yawning Collection of Tomes? You will? Really? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Thank you so much! I work in diplomatic relations. Just get, get back from assignment in the Far East. That's a pretty impressive little collection of Eastern goods, too, if I say so myself. But you have one of my rare items in exchange for my seek. Your bracers, no? Hmm. Let's try to get them to catch your eye. Between these two, which one intrigues you more? The Mystic Stav and the Twin Plovers, the ultimate weapons for Estelle and Joshua. You got to pick one! And Estelle is the main character, so I'm getting her. Oh, this one is nice! Oh, very nice! Very nice indeed! It suits you! I got a, I got a notification to close shop early, early today, so I have lots of time to read! Thank you again! 90 to 130! New staff with designs depicting universal axioms. Boom! He got plus 40 attack. <laughs> and now I have uh, this file here, which I can use for several things. First is I can load it up to read the Carnelians, which I'll be doing next week. I can also use it to just go and attain the other one, so it's checked off on like the Steam achievement for collect every weapon. Can I also still look? Right, oh yeah. This one isn't open at all. I don't know if it will actually, uh, let me uh, fully explore the roads then. Oops. I want to go get, take care of, like, the crocodile thingies. Oh, 
We're good to go. And I and I am gonna be fast forwarding through this like this. I've gotten the regular shark dial. I only need. I just need to kill a dino dial. That's it. That's literally all I need to do. Kill a dino dial. Other enemies I've gotten. Blink Blank, Rick Moss, Omar is OAP. War Bat. Oh. Like this is like the blockaded area. So I should now have enough. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, my brain is farting. Uh, just step is to make the last uh, uh, EP reduction three. Oh. <laughs> I punched it and ran away. Spiral Flare, nice. Ah. Mm -hmm. Save. Stand here. 
here. Okay, we're ready. Understood. Let's review the operation. Gonna meet back here? This is the Amber this is well this is the Amberl Monument rest area. So it sh this should be the place. The issue is whether or not Lieutenant Schwarz or men can get here undetected. No need to worry about that. They're already here. Whoa, what did you get here? Haha, <laughs> nice work staying hidden in the ground cell. I quite a few sympathizers among the citizens. Fish up vibrations. You can begin when you're ready. Alright. Wait on your order, Stel. Huh? My order? You're the one who originally received Her Majesty's request. So we're waiting on you, your command for it begin. But, but, I, I, I'm just a rookie. Haha, <laughs> that really doesn't matter. I don't think you'll have a problem. Just do it without sh shouting, okay? You're there to help. Here, yeah, we'll be there to help. You have no objections. I, uh, have a little faith in yourself. Don't worry about the trivial details. Just deal with things as they come. Er, right. Okay, mm -hmm. then here goes. Everyone, let's get those hostages rescued. Oh, meanwhile. I'm so freaking hungry. Is it time to change shifts yet? Come on, stay focused. I'm telling you the Royal Guardsmen might finally show themselves. There weren't more than ten escapees. The current really put his mind to it. We could hunt a lot of them down in no time. If you think it's so easy, then go ahead and try. Huh? It's in Schwarz! Listen, listen up! We have word from the ID ship! Apparently have a lock on the Royal Guardsmen! We'll get there quickly, this will be our chance to wipe them out! Roger! That's all that. Idiots! It's just locked down! Never be able to use it! Just done as the Colonel said, you would have spared your lives. You're gonna die. You only got your own stubbornness to blame! Take this! Oops. Surprise! Racers! Can't be serious! Actually, gonna, actually gonna try standing against the royal army. To disappoint you, I've already been marked as criminals. Where the queen you will let us pass. <laughs> this party's on the move. Go ahead and lure the remaining forces into the front gardens. Break into the villa while they're distracted. Sounds good. I just see with all of you. I just throws him in the water. <laughs> Hope he can swim. But there are only four guys there. All right, looks like they went for it. No chance to sneak in. Okay, after that. That's the Earth Royal Villa. Gorgeous. Soon the kids in the castle run for his hero. But it is the royal family residence. Looks like welcome, Kenny's here. Who are you people? You need to know our names. We're just serve no purpose here. Let's go! And the music just continues. Oh, I see the hills in the stock of reviving ball. Ooh. Got two of them. Hold their 
attention. I still need to get out of there. This for the Honestly, much more in danger of dying really quickly than oh, he is, to be honest. I guess it's used since it's such a big heal. Okay, let's go for an Oral Blast. Oh, I win! <laughs> they messed with the wrong guy. Wow, now, where's the person being held? Huge. This is searching room by room. Just hang around here. I bet we're going to have more company soon. Let's get a move on. Oh, never mind. Maybe I should have saved. him for a trick heal. Yeah, but like, this honestly is more about stealing the crit than anything else. Yeesh. Let's 
Make sure you can survive ahead and start getting more of your CP back. Holy shit! I'm getting that right, that's not like it came out of my inventory, I honestly don't remember what it's like with, uh, these guys have to step up. That's that then. Let's move out! I'm to take over. So far, it's starting to fill up. The corridor and every potential is pouring out periodically. Gosh, these silent enemies really sees us. Lots of different rooms. Ooh, we're the library. There's nothing on any of the shelves. The gallery. Ooh, chair. King's throne. There we see the late King Edgar III. Find his chair. for if he shoots a bunch of bullets at us. Like that! Get any gob on us! Auto CP regeneration is amazing. Oh. Ah, I saved myself just wrong. I missed one of them. Damn. It's delayed. Even 
be lying on though. Down you go! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! How much HP do you have? Ah. Fifteen! Piece of cake! Piece of cake! That's care of? They're just trying to really know what's going on. Let's get a bar. Give me the capital. Please don't kill me! I know wisdom! We know that. We work at the villa, right? To help press her majesty the queen. Well, we really? Us here to save us? Yes, can you calm down already? Can you give us the key? No, I need to be brave. So it's there for my porter friend to take it away. He's all right. Porter friend? Must be Niall! You know him? But the Niall has gone missing and still unaccounted for. Ah, yes. I see, yes. I'm going to contact him. I came to the interview with the princess who is being guarded here. Petra's work is hard to argue with, so I'm going to sneak him in and turn him away. He's bought to take a prisoner. Yes, my shame. Only then I realized the severity of the situation. And it's being kept here, protected her from any potential terrorist assault. Truth is, the chief held prisoner by the intelligence division. I'm so glad she was coming in. That simply had never occurred to me. Truly, I fit my position. Come on, don't you need so impressed. I don't have any idea where the prisoner being held. Is it only getting into the press room, which is the innermost chamber? The large banquet hall used to prevent the formal signing of treaties. They call it held inside. Maybe over there? Behind the big locked door. It's locked then. He knew when the death of the Tales Division Army Commander, he left him the terror showed up. Huh? He's taken by the ones who ambushed the hand towards the men. Now good, I'm going to go back. Just a moment. Where key that door? It's here somewhere. Let me be sure. I believe it's hidden somewhere in the gallery. Roger that. Next, 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 next. Ooh, the other side. 
Fair key. Red plate. Pinky style face. Pretty style face. Rose of Art Catalog on the shelf. Oh, come on! Fast. They went by so fast. Damn. It is almost dead. Savor the victory. We own. I don't know if there's going to be a battle in there. <coughs> Time for a surprise reunion! Who are you? You look so familiar. Hey, you guys won the martial arts competition! Because you're at the Bracer Guild. That's right. Once you can persuade you to just forget you saw us. Shut it! The defenders of Impregnable Fortress! What press us? You have to go through us! First time you're fighting all these pull arm guys. Heavily armed soldier. Oh, yeah. Major Willie really Howard, the likely weapon and powerful crafts are deadly. Oh my god, I just healed him for 2,000 and it's already gone again! I need to take care of one of these guys as fast as possible. power one, but maybe I can take him down with it. Probably, uh, maybe actually not, but maybe he'll be low enough that Josh was fish him off. Just out of reach. But yeah, I'll use the tear all balm on you. Don't you think these guys seem to have low accuracy or something like that? I get when they attack. He's 
not gonna survive Take. another hit. God. I I think it's like that. This is like moments like this where I really, really, really wish I like I had no way to reliably put that down on my opponents. Like this guy hits like a truck. Let me lower his attack for a bit. Like this guy is so tough. Let me lower his defense for a bit. Nope. Look, Niall, it looks to me, you don't look too bad in shape. I'm too bad in shape. Are you serious? Tell so, Joshua, there's not see you here. Huh? You're the princess. Pleasure to meet you. Where's the racer, Gil? Thanks for the late for our introduction. So we meet again as promised. Yep! Uh. Chloe! So, I really hope you're joking. Don't you recognize me sooner? Now it's the dress of the hair and the things! What happened? Hardest Luke still doesn't know how to doubt people. Hey, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Haha, <laughs> there's a still I know. And Joshua, they still use that name for me. Yes, it seems to be the one you prefer. Would you rather I use your real name? No, nope. thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Case, what are you doing here, Chloe? What does matter? Why is the princess here? <sighs> She's right in front of you. That's a queen's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. But. Ah! I'm sorry that I couldn't tell you. I played the both to see the truth when we mixed next bed in Grand Cell, and the Colonel Richard had me detained. Uh, but why? The prince would be hiding out in some in ordinary school. Why you have us call you Chloe? I'm free to ke keep calling me that. My name is Claudia von Osley. Chloe's a pet name that Jill came up with using bits for my whole name. Really? Uh, so what about your hair? Oh, it's just a wig. If I had the same hairdo as our campus, I'd probably just create trouble. I can't believe I missed the connection myself. I've seen your picture often enough. Remember you from the mayoral scandal in Ruan. I never put two and two together. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. Didn't see that Uncle Donan or D Mayor Dalmore recognize me either. Uh, yeah. The Duke's even related to you. Oh, I forgot something important. You're including how they came to rescue Chloe at the Queen's Pass. I see. Call you. I feel the deepest gratitude for coming to rescue me. Oh, I was nothing. Heck, if we knew there was our Chloe in here, no one would have had you, no one would have had to ask us. Yes, no. Haha, <laughs> no doubt. You should save your thanks for her majesty. She's the one who deserves them. She had no concern for herself, just that we should save you. I think your safety will give her the strength to resist the Colonel's demands. But doing so may endanger her life. Yes, that is her way. Having that done, that she's in grave danger. I think I've seen enough of this little farce. The princess! Rianne! What's up? She's General Morgan's granddaughter. He's in prison at the Hawking Gate. I'd say they're taking her or to keep him from causing any trouble. They did with you and her majesty. It's just an idle threat. A man in special ops is a dream. Must have had nothing to achieve it. And that's something you're proud of? I'll make your deal, Sergeant. Please take me as hostage rather than the child. Ha, <laughs> not a chance. 
I know, I said we'd stop at nothing, but even we don't have the nerve to harm a member of the royal family. No, Morgan's grandkid, on the other hand, sees her needs just fine. It's a vital hostage. It's not going to cause any real problems for us to end up getting hurt. You're a monster. I was a coward myself. Vedic disgusting stick. Pick an adjective. <laughs> Talk all you want. It's almost time for the patrols to return from Royal Avenue. Round up the guards and the bracers. Not bad for a nice work. Maybe that will be happening. I right, took your buddies on our way over here. Sarah! Yes! And the victory team? What? Ah! There's it. It's alright. How you two? Long time no see. Sarah! You came! Damn it all! Who the hell do you think you are? Some people have just have no manners. Yeah! Ugh. Get out of combo! Think of that as my special gift. This is cruel. Wait, who wore that shot? Oliver, I guess. Bingo! <laughs> Ding. Star makes a dramatic entrance. Please hold your applause until after the performance is ended. Haha! <laughs> the drama turns into a comedy. Nice seeing you again, Sherazard. It's been a long time. It has. I never thought I'd find you in Libero. I was quite relieved I heard you'd fallen into Cell and Joshua. Haha! <laughs> well, I think you're overestimating my capabilities, like usual. I see you. You've only become more beautiful. I really, didn't recognize you. Uh, oh, really? I'm simply brimming over of something akin to jealousy. Am I really a toy to be used when convenient and cut aside when boredom sets in? Hey, Oliver, I just wanted to see you. Hope to go out for drinks again. Forgive me, I've committed a grave offense. I swear, none of you ever changed. That's the you, Sheriff. Thought the Royal Army had a checklist but we sealed off. Gotta take a drink. Yes, we crossed Valeria Lake by boat. <coughs> Ooh, a Dr. Grunsell Harbor. One way around the problem. How'd you wind up falling in with a failed, excuse me, traveling musician? Parents are local guild branch. It's like a lost puppy. They didn't have much choice other than to bring him along. Ha ha ha. We couldn't allow such an amusing, interesting show to go on without me. May I ask, uh, may I ask who this fair lady is? Great introductions. The Queen's granddaughter, ha ha highest, highest Prince Claudia. A friend of ours. Pleasure to meet you both. Thank you very much for coming to help me. Thank you, Evan. Simply by doing my duties as a bracer, it's seriously sir, as a gentleman if I did not leap to the aid of a lady, young, lovely lady of noble birth. The utter pleasure at this meeting is entirely my own. Your Highness, are you well? Julia C. That's his name, C. Scream! Scream, scream, scream! Haha, <laughs> good. I'm happy to see you again. Thank goodness you're unharmed. I'm so worried. Things mutual. For long, the bracers involved in the version of the Royal Guardsmen joined forces. Seen it to it as the rescue hostages gets the rest, the Stellan Company gathered to assess their current situation. <laughs> mm. All that's left her is this agate suppressor and Tita. Where's to express my shame? If not for my ineptitude, none of this would have come to pass. So she that could take my own life for something to be permitted. Please not say such things. I'm just happy to see you alive and unharmed. Thank you for coming to save me. Your Highness. Not that I'm, uh, not that I'm not moved by all this, but I have to ask. Why is Zeke still here? Kree? Haha, <laughs> he is your Majesty's escort, as well as a messenger for Royal Guardsmen. Girl, did you not deliver the letter to your hotel? Oh, that night! I thought it might have been him. I must also admit how you learned of her Majesty's request. Yes, I heard it from Sieg. Majesty sent word to him fr from the royal keep. The press room in which Princess Claudia held has no windows for Sieg to use. I was very worried when I was unable to make contact. You gave me a heart attack, though, when you sent a message to us. Sieg, I was just me and you to leave that letter, not let us know it was you. Scream. Haha, <laughs> he says he's sorry. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Wait, have all the special forces troops been dealt with? Mm -hmm. All the other soldiers in the villa have been restrained. However, there are quite a few left in Grandsell Castle. Which royal army is under television's division control, even outside of Grand Cell. Now, careful, we run the risk of them seizing control of this building and branding us all as rebels. Whoa, I hadn't even thought about that. Good point. I think it'd be best if we were to get Chloe to a safer location, at the very least. We're seeking asylum with the Arabonian and Republic embassies, so they're considered foreign territory, making it very difficult for them to lay a hand on her. That's a special ops shit that we'd seize nearby. Use, we use that to allow her to flee the country for the time being. Shouldn't solve all the. It wouldn't solve the whole problem, but we'll buy some time to find a better solution at the very least. I agree. Cardless, we need to find some way to get her to safety. She wants to fight! 
difficulty of the current situation, would it be, po would it be possible for making official quest of the bracers? Well, Hussey has been rescued, so I think it'll be alright. Of course, it depends on what the contents of the quest are. So, I must ask you to do the impossible. Are you helping you're taking the royal castle and rescuing your majesty? Yeah, your highness! I think that's right. It's time we have to help the queen! To be honest, I consider the question to be ridiculous, because the answer is obvious. Your highness, this is no small thing you're asking for. Quite right. No chance that a frontal assault would work, even with the capabilities of everyone here. I think the capture special ops has potential. You don't need some kind of seriously clever trick. I have an idea. If everyone will please look at this. A very old looking map. Ah yes, this is a map I found uh, on, on on the wiki looking for a map of the sewers. This exact map. And so yeah, I've explored like the lower section that the like text box is covering up. But you can see up front there is uh in the middle just below the two there's a secret door I haven't been through yet. Ancient diagram the sewers below ground cell. The thing that lays out here is the path that leads to the castle cellar. What? What's the meaning of this? How could we have lost contact with the Herb Royal Villa? It's likely it's fallen to the external force, either the guardsmen or the bracers. It's interfering little. Were you not commander of that division, second lieutenant? It is a pity. The done is done. Sensing about it now will accomplish nothing. For a moment, must strengthen the castle's defenses to ensure that her majesty is not taken. I need you to tell me that! Why is the castle gate sealed? Now, soul sanction from here on out! We tags that you need to worry about are the ones that come from the sky! Yes, ma'am. Once that's done, Scrape up troops from whenever you can find them, anywhere in the barrel, and send them to the villa. Heard he wanted to subjugate the terrorists to receive the royal family. Yes, ma'am. Haha, <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> of course it was. I served this in the for some time, unlike you. I swear, I will protect this castle while his excellency is absent, no matter the cost. Grenfell Castle and the Queen. First, Joshua and the others, two others will infiltrate the Grenfell sewers. They'll proceed to the Royal Guard Room and open the castle gate. Got it. Time to light a few fireworks. Haha! <laughs> well, it does seem appropriate for the beginning of the final act. Since the gates are open, the guardsmen and the four of the bracers will make their way to the castle by way of street. They make a real spectacle draw all the guards together in one place. Good hands. Alright, been looking forward to this. Finally? Are you sure I cannot get you to reconsider since back in our school uniform? Sorry, I must be there to help my grandmother. Also, I know how to pilot an airship. I hope to be able to put that skill to good use. If I know this would happen, I never would have taught you. It's okay, Lieutenant. I'll look after Chloe for you. I swear she'll be kept safe, or my nickname isn't Silver Streak. I can get uh, Sharon's art slot. Understand? Please do what you can. With some men inside the castle concentrated in one area, Stella and her team will sit down in the tar tar garden terrace. Then, they'll break into the Queen's room and the rescue her. Roger. Move operations begin at the stroke of the noon, noon bell. I would just remain on alert until then. All right, you have your task. Get to them! Dismissed! Yes, ma'am! Joshua, please be careful. <coughs> Ooh, don't be taking any unnecessary risks. I'll be fine. You try to be on your best behavior. Don't overest overestimate your own strength. Make sure you have watch uh, Sarah's back. I understand. Whatever happens, remember a promise. See each other again, safe and sound, in Grand Cell Castle. Count on it! Joshua, I'm not telling you what kinds of creatures have at the sewers. Please take the utmost care. I know, and I will. You know we're about to sell. You wrote so much during that this trip of yours. Just know your skills and basic qualifications, but your hearts. That's what it seems to me. Sheriff! Huh? What does that mean? It's nothing! Save it for later! <laughs> in times of crisis, you can always count on these two brats. Haha, <laughs> quite so. I think we'll be heading out. We meet again, my lovelies. I I'd be with you. Stella and Joshua are splitting up. Ooh. Joshua. Hey, princess, you ever wonder if those two have got a distinct sword for them? Haha, <laughs> yes, the thought has crossed my mind. They just smile for each other. I'm even the tiny bit envious. Regular soldiers have been replaced with special ops guys. Maybe it's probably gotten quite desperate since we liberated the villa. Security seems a lot tighter than normal. I can loosen them up with the dulcet tones of my loot. 
do anything conspic conspic conspicuous, and this guy, that guy will be on you faster than you can say off key. Mueller, wasn't it? Yeah, yes, it was. Uh, you two should definitely must rather not go the not go near the Airborne Embassy. Could be quite dangerous. Yes, quite perilous indeed for you. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, the other rest is time to just drop by there. Wait for breach to complete. About to get inside the sewers. Oh, so there's just us going into the sewers like this. Oh boy. If you get three, you get clock up EX like that. Us to split up like this. I thought, uh, like, I was not expecting like boy girl split. I thought it'd be like Estelle, Joshua with Chloe and si uh, Ashera. here on the lower left. Actually, the lower right. The choose the far way is hidden where the equation mark equals mark is depicted in the center. Right. So first, we need to get to that spot and examine the wall. And the reason I, I don't want to do that many fights is because I don't want to get a sell uh, Joshua's um, experience that off-balance. I want to keep the two of them close to each other. Copy the map. Guys, let's get moving. This is the real deal. I'll try to only fight if it's uh, a new monster or something. That's an unavoidable. Uh, yeah, you're a new monster. Black sheep. Oh shit! I don't have information! 
No! Shit! Ah, no! Pointless! Maybe I can come back for it. Just... Uh. I'll run away from this. Hell, what that thing? Whale frog male. Ooh. Here all bomb. Look, one for hero, Kev Team. And like this is chest we saw all the way the first time in the tour, but Monster Attack! Oh shit, what is this? I really should have saved before this, damn it. much and I got reflector. Get it, it's empty. That's gonna be when she gets here, cause like she's the main character, she gets messed up. A lot of hits. Gun loco. I think they only took minimal damage there. This time I'm gonna stay. It's got torches around it. Monster appeared. Oh! No sense of this.
no magic for you. And he's been frozen. Shit. <coughs> I think I got Kyria going. I think I can put that away for now. Yeah, you have three HP. Savor the victory. We own it. Oh, the cloak one! There it is! Check the mo mo check the moxie with its emptiness. A cloak. No encounters. Yeah, it's like, monsters don't bump into me like that! And it's like, all the way at the end, surrounded by torches. No wall block in the way. Oops, it's the end of the line. Yes, this hidden door here. Let's switch activated. It's probably staying stand by until noon. Save again. Alright, we'll wait here. Time comes, we'll go in. Oh well, I guess we should rest until then. chance to unlock Shara's last node. Or is it just gonna come? I hope it comes like that. I wouldn't hold your positions. Make a charge of noon bell rings. Yep. Slot happy! There it is! Yep, it just unlocked itself. I would actually end up piloting intelligence division ship, airship. Keep looking thing, isn't it? Not sure which I like less. This or the sky bandit ship. Let's admit though, his specs are impressive. Television managing a ship like this. Yeah. Mystery. This is how they manage to get a hold of the gospel. Alright, let's start for the wait. Tell oh, Payton, it's been some time. Huh? Who's that? He's the maintenance team the for the air seal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the big dragon that's inside it around bones. I'm a little in the factory. We're still getting test fights for uh, the air seal. There's quite a lot of data needs to be collected. Oh, okay. Need to be disfine. Need to find me inside Ruan. Oh, normal flight is already stable. The moment a new orbital engine is high schedule, we just need an older, less powerful one for now. Since the intelligence division took her away, all test flights are halted indefinitely. I'm going to do it with myself and Julia be contacting me in Grantville. Gotcha. Haha, <laughs> you see whatever you can do. Uh, it got on me! I moved the locks, so you should be able to fly without any problems. The extreme new world girl once she, she gets things up and running, so bear that in mind when you're flying. I understand. Well, let's go ahead and get started!
I don't really have anyone for Earth right now, but okay. Yeah, just like water and wind is <laughs> like the big combination for these two. Along with jewels, two of Edward's ornaments. Ah. Also, we're almost out of time for the stream, so I think I'll honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. damn! Looks like it started. Let's go, Dorothy. We gotta get a good spot to watch. Oh wait, let me set up the exposure cords. Hey, what's going on? Had sh you haven't showed up in three days, Ann. Big story! Big in the history of the Barrel News! <laughs> Castle gates are, are in the Royal uh, Guard office. It's upstairs. Got it. Let's get going. No, yeah, I think you actually want to, like, not start any of the actual invasion of the castle. Like, <laughs> oh, like it's in books. Got it. I hope I can go back down there so I can uh, get uh, the any information I missed there. I didn't save after I fought those guys there. Because like I said, like, this is like the perfect point for things to pick up. How are we doing a monster guide? So? Yeah. Yeah, like, not everyone has petrified in this. Like, of course, like, the one who's the captain is this thing. Yeah, I'm just killing time. Lots of over from the Herb Oil Villa. Liberation too. We're not like it like technically churn these in. That's 
this plan, part 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. the finale of the game and I feel like if I went a full six hours uh, I would uh, not have too much time for myself hmm. yeah so but I, I still will next week start at one and whatever time I like I'll definitely be beating the game within the six hours or probably likely will beat if in like the first three or four hours mm-hmm Yeah, and uh, if I don't get the chance to go back into sewer and get the information uh, from those guys, I'll just have to reload uh, before, honestly, before that battle with uh, the the heavily armed soldiers and swap information over to Joshua then. In the meantime, yeah, like so, but... I do have two things to fill in for time next week after I've uh, beaten the game. One is just go back to, like, the save that has all the books and read the entirety of Cornelia out loud for all of you. I'm going to need a lot. I'm probably going to have to stop to drink for a bunch of that. Mm. And then the other thing is I have two possible ideas. Uh, the first is I can just... Uh, Try showing off the new game plus and seeing all the stuff like that, as well as get those entries I missed at the beginning. Since you have to fight one of two unique enemies before you can get the information quartz. As well as find and kill a shining palm in chapter one. The other important other thing I could do is if I manage to get uh, it up and running, is to put the translation patch on Trails in the Sky Evo on my PSTV, and I can swap over to show this is what the updated version looks like and see how that looks in all its gorgeousness. Yeah, but, so that's the plan for next week, the finale of Trails in the Sky. Till then, this has been Avenger Advent. I stream every day here on Twitch starting at 3 o'clock p.m. U.S. Central Time, except for Saturdays like today when I started at 1. And join me tomorrow. For my uh, Sunday double stream of Ring Fit and Hatsune Miku. We're going back to uh, Future Tone for a bit. Until then, good night, everybody. <laughs>